behind me. Them. I'll handle this. Hey, what if? Yeah, got him. Skyward. Suffocate. Fry picked the wrong subject. Another test subject. I got careless. Have a little faith. Mighty mythical beast. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Really? Wushou dance? Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushou dancing. So, it's... Huh? You have cute? <laughs> it's not that... Ah, Paimon gets it, see? Not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up... Oh! Let's go. The docks are just up... Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon out? Oh, Paimon Bro, was finally it. satisfied. Aw, would you like some winter melon cake? What? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Yes, Paimon will take all you got. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you! Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy! And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. Oh, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Huh. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. Like I'll just have to person. check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. Okay, Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to you. Aww, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? Hey, Paimon can be in a good mood anytime she wants! Need some fresh bamboo? Woohoo! We're here! Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. Okay, follow me. This way is fast.
one should invent some form of curial discernment mechanism. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! Hey! I slow down. I'm begging ya. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Oh, well, uh... Come on! Do you see that group of people over there? Those are my relatives. Wow! Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's no, it's not that. I'm just not that good. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but... Pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. Wait here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. You guys are. That was nothing. It was a piece of cake. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch. As long as you don't mind them drip. Hey, Uncle Dragway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare. No need. We'll be off soon any. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the secure transport agency has some great soul. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jurgoy. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the- Aww, you noticed what pa How long have you two known Gaming? Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yulong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attendant. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. He said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but... Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Oh, uh, by the way. 
All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Xinyue Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family... It's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiast. Hmm. How should I put Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man. You seem to be around the same age, so perhaps you could help him talk things seem through. To be. Consider it a favor to me. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to win. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Well, <laughs> I can certainly arrange that. Wait. Seriously? I'm almost just joking. <laughs> uh, would you like some more tea? No thanks. We came all this way and still we should see the kinds of kites they got. Tea Maybe point. they'll have ones you can't find. Alright then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about- Ugh, starting on the elder stuff. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What would- And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment? Or perhaps even fault? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Chia. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked. Oh, huh. Chia Nyu? Huh. Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong War, a great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from China. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. Then four shall. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy 10, get half off. Look at the magnificent design, and the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend. Hmm, ten boxes. Seems right. Hmm. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll eat. That is agreeable. One will. Uh of course, of course. Right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Perhaps. 
I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement... Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you... <laughs> There is... Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it secure. Ah, oh, of course. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything no less, it would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf, but it does look- You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? <clears throat> one means to say, you along with one has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Oh, who will be part- Chuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xianyun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the... Ha! Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> the mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of this. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expect... It sure seems like you... So, will you be attending... Huh? Wait, you've been trying to... All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One, arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you. Are you leaving? Don't you have God to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? One calls it the floating toting device. Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of... Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just... Uh... And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. All Paimon say is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, after all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself when it comes...
<gasps> Might as well grab this. Oh.
Peace prevails throughout. If you are presently unoccupied, 
Perhaps we could stop a while at one's abode for some repose and conversation. prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as buds in the spring. This is an auspicious era for humanity. <laughs> <laughs> 